what's going on, but since since the um, Sir Alex Ferguson left, I saw not evolution in the club. The progress was zero. Um, for example, we have an interesting point that how the club as Manchester United after suck um, Ole, mm. they buy, they bring sport directive Ralph Regnick, which is something that nobody understand. This guy is, is not even a coach. A bigger club like Manchester United bring sport directive surprise not only me but all the world. You know, nothing changed. Surprisingly, not only the pool, the jacuzzi, even the gym, even some points, the technology, the kitchen, the chefs, <laughs> which is I appreciate, lovely, lovely persons. They stop in a in a time which is is. It surprised me a lot. I thought I will see different things, different, as I mentioned before, technology, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we see many things that I'm used to see when I was 20, 21, 23. So surprised me a lot. Biggest critics has been, and I'm surprised about this. Me too. Wayne Rooney, for who, example. Who you played with for many years very successfully and we're good friends with him. And yet all this year, three or four times, he's come out and attacked you in the media. Pierce, I don't understand. Uh, you should ask this question to him, but I don't know. Um, I don't know why he criticized me so bad or... Is it jealousy as well, perhaps, that you're still playing and still in the probably, United States? Probably, Russia? because he finished his career with 30s, so I'm still playing high level. I'm not going to say that I'm looking better than him, which is, is, is true, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it's, that it's, is inarguable. I mean, there's no contest. It's, it's hard to listen that kind of criticise and negative about people who play with you. For example, Gary Neville as well. Yeah, I mean, Gary Neville, you blanked him the other day uh, on the pitch and he looked quite upset, actually, because um, he obviously likes being your friend, but... He's been pretty critical of you as well. The, you the people have... Can, have, can have his own opinion, but they don't really know what's going on, for example, inside the, the, the training ground and Carrington area or even my life. They should listen not only one point of view, they have to listen my point of view as well because it's easy to, to criticise, but if you don't know the old story, it's, it's, it's easy, you know. But it's, Pierce, as I say before, it's, it's part of... Are they of, still friends of yours or do you have a line where... They are not my friends. Do you feel a bit betrayed when they do that because, yes. you, because you played together? It's easy. It's easy to criticise. I don't know if they have a job in television that they must criticise to, to be more famous. I really don't understand. Do you think they use your name a bit to get attention? I think they take advantage of that because they are not stupid. And I really understand and I have to carry on with my life with criticize, criticize or, or when the people speak good about you. But it's hard when you see people who was in the dressing room with you criticizing that way. It must hurt It's you. not good. Yeah. Yes, I did. But not hurt I, I, I'm not going to be more slim. I'm not going to sleep bad because of the criticize. But it's not good to listen to that. Disappointing. A little bit, yes, mm. disappointing. Yes. The Glazers, they don't, they don't care about, about the club. I mean, professional uh, sport. As you know, this Manchester is a marketing club. They will get his money from the marketing. The sports, it's, they, they don't really care, in my opinion. Do you ever talk to them, the Glazers? Never. Never? Never. Not since you've gone back? No. They give all the power to the president, the sport directive. A lot of Manchester United fans are very negative about the Glazers. They think they're taking all the money out and not spending enough on players, on the infrastructure issues you talked about. Do you think the fans are right? The fans, are, they're always right. I think the fans should know the truth, should know that the players, we want the best for the club. I want the best of the club. This is why I'm coming to Manchester United. This is why I love this club. But you have some things inside the club which is don't help to Manchester reach the top level as City, Liverpool and even now Arsenal, for example, which is, is complicated. It's difficult. Um, 
it's hard. In my opinion, it will be hard for Manchester to be in the top of the game the next.